Hi, my name is Kirsha Quigley. And for my learning opportunity, it's situated in a math class, but it could also work in history or an engineering class. For my learning opportunity, I want my students to look at sexism and racism and how it affects the chilling of history of math mathematicians, scientists, engineers, and inventors. We have all heard about the scientists and mathematicians, Albert Einstein, Isaac Newton, Alexander Graham Bell, Stephen Hawking, and many others. But in my lesson, I would like to highlight scientists, engineers, mathematicians, and inventors who are non-white males. Some historians have chosen to dismiss non-white male scientists, and I would like to show that women and minorities have been involved in science for a long time, and everyone is capable of being a scientist, inventor, mathematician, or an engineer. This is Catherine Welper. She is the sister of Orville and Wilbur Wright, the brothers that invented the airplane. Catherine was the youngest of four Wright brothers. And after her mother died, when she was just 15, she took over her mother's duties and attended school. She was closest to Orville and Wilbur. She was the only college educated sibling of the family. She worked with the brothers and managed their bicycle shop. She even learned French, French so she could translate and represent her brothers in Europe. She was an amazingly smart woman in Orville credits her with saving his life when he broke several ribs and his leg after an accident when a broken propeller sent an airplane out of control. At the time, she received awards and recognitions right along with her brothers. She was a celebrity at the time with her brothers and in the early 1900s, people acknowledged that it was the right siblings who invented airplanes. As historians have retold the story, most people hear that it was the Wright brothers that invented airplanes. Catherine's role in helping Wilbur and Orville has been dismissed until recently. Another woman uh, inventor I'd like to highlight is Alice Ball. Alice was a chemist and she was the first African-American woman and African-American to receive a master's of science from the University of Hawaii. She invented a treatment for leprosy. She isolated Kalmuga oil chemicals in 1916 to create an injectable form which treats leprosy. She saved leprosy victims around the world. She died a year after her discovery and her work was not published yet. The University of Hawaii president, Arthur L. Dean, took credit for all of her work, as you can see in these newspaper clippings from the time. In 2007, Alice Ball was finally credited by the University of Hawaii with its Medal of Distinction. These are just two examples of how women and or minorities have been dismissed by historians and their work was dismissed by their colleagues. My students guided activity will consist of me giving my students this list of non-white male scientists, mathematicians, inventors, or engineers. They can pick from this list, or I will approve one of their choosing. My students will research one of these inventors that have been dismissed or discredited and highlight their work in a three-minute digital presentation. This three-minute digital presentation can be as if they were presenting the nightly news or presenting it as the documentary. The choice in how to present this is up to each student. I want students to know that women and minorities have been involved in mathematics, engineering, and inventing throughout history. Traditionally, historians have not given women and minorities the same attention as they have to their white male counterparts and have been dismissive of women and minorities' contributions until recent history. I would like the females and minorities in my class to know that there is a place for them during math discussions. And I would like the males to know that females and minorities have been part of the math discussion for a long time and they are not inherently or historically smarter in math just because historians have left women and minorities out. Also, a side note, it is sexism that kept women out of school and research into institutions, and also the non-existence of public schools, which kept minorities out of schools. I will know that my students have the intended knowledge as they present their digital presentation. 
I will see in the classroom that both my male, female, and minority students feel like they can contribute equally. After all the students have presented, all the students will be required to write a reflection on how they view women and minorities in science. Thank you, 